we are going to have a quick session, very interesting, and we can often like this. Now, we did talk about pathways and all those things. Now, let's talk about what exactly is pathways, so that if you have any questions about Toastmaster Education Program, we can talk about it. And we personally ask important. The reason I say important because he is not a guide for our club, but yes, we asked him to come and help because Vincent has been very helpful. Mm -hmm. So please put your hands together for our Toastmasters Pathways Guide to talk about pathways. Uh, timer, tiny seven eight nine. All right. So, first things first. Um, how many members here have actually started with Pathways program? Okay, good. Do you guys have any questions regarding to how to access Pathways or how do you go about the system? Ask today. He's there. <laughs> if I had a question when I start browsing. The website. Ah, it's okay. not easy to find certain things that I want. Alright. Like my, my valuator asked for the printout, but I couldn't find the printout. Okay, perhaps Shri will guide you next time because now he knows where to find it. He told me no printout, <laughs> no need. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because we're trying to move the list. Yes, actually, <laughs> in, 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 in Pathways, what happens is that they have a very flexible system. In the past, we have actual manuals, actual books. And in those books, they are actually pages of evaluation, whereby you pass the book to your evaluator, and then evaluator will fill in according to your speech. But that was the old system. Because you get situations whereby you come to the meeting, you want to deliver a speech, but you forget to bring your book. So what happens? You're in trouble, correct? But now in Pathways, what happens is that they actually turn that evaluation form into a PDF that is available online on the website. So now, the evaluator or the speaker has many options. One, you can download that evaluation form, print it out yourself, hand them that piece of evaluator, they write, then they give it back to you. Or, if your evaluator is tech savvy, you could email him that PDF file, and he could have been filling it you know, on his laptop, or his iPad, or on his phone because it is a PDF file. You can save it and can email it back to you. Or, if your evaluator is a hard-working person and he knows what is, he, what is the speech that he's going to evaluate, he can preempt you and actually go and download the form himself. Prepare his own form. So that he knows that oh, the speaker is new, most probably do not know to get his own form, so I get it for him. So you can, you can do that preparation. And that is what we mean by it's more flexible now. There are many options that you can play with. So when Sri says that there is no need for you to print, what he means is that you can actually get him to download the, the PDF file and have it fill on the PDF file itself. So that's what he meant by that. So I'm not too sure how this club wants to adapt this change. Uh, for my club, we do always. Some, per some people will actually print the form out, some people take their very huge iPads and start filling it on the spot. So it depends on how you want to adapt. Right. Any other questions? We done. Yes. yes. Yeah, I realized that um, because there's different pathways. Let's say I chose pathway A, <coughs> and for pathway A, I have to complete like probably minimum three tasks out of the group that maybe have ten tasks. Mm. Does this mean that after I complete pathway A, I think that if I think that I'm not proficient enough, I can retake pathway A with different different tasks? Does it work that way or? Okay, are you, are you talking about the elective projects? Yes, the elective projects. Okay, so what happens is that the elective projects is one of the ways to customize your learning experience. What do we mean by that? Because in the current system, when you pick a particular manual, say for example, speaking to inform, there are five speeches in that manual that teach you purely on how to deliver information in a speech in a not so boring way. But even if you are doing that manual halfway, you realize that this is not so relevant to you then you realize you're in big trouble because you have to either buy a new manual or you can't continue on from here. So what happens is that in Pathways that there are certain mandatory projects depending on the path that you take. Say for example, you take the path called Leadership Development. Of course, the focus is to train you to become a leader. So the question becomes, what are the types of projects that will train you to become a leader? So you will realize that in your path, the projects you take 
requires you to actually lead either a team or a leader yourself to complete that particular project. Whereas my path, I took visionary communication, whereby my project is all about telling people change management. How do I take very difficult information and sharing it with them? So you can see our focuses are different. And that's why the paths are more valuable because each and every one of us have a different skill set that we want to learn, correct? Yeah. Uh, I realize that I, I can't, I can't uh, deal very well when it comes to sharing complicated information. So I took that path. Uh, I want to be a person who knows how to communicate change to other people. So that's where I took that path. Whereas the person who took leadership development, they want to know how to lead better in their organization. The different styles of leadership they can apply. In fact, their projects will require them to try many different styles of leaderships. And they will be able to explore and feel what is useful in what situation, and they can actually practice that. So in the elective projects, they are, there's, only, there's only a few projects that they are, that, let's say there's a list of 10. You can, only, you can, you can choose like one or two out of it, depending on what level you are. So, once you have completed those projects, you can move on to the higher level projects, or you can actually repeat in the same level some of the projects that was not in elective. Say, for example, in level three, you will begin your elective projects. Yeah, you have got two mandatory and one elective. Then the elective project, you are done with it. Okay, cool. I can move on to level four now. Level four also got their own elective projects, but it's totally different from the one in level three. Then you realize that actually in level 3 there's one more project I'd really like to do. You can go back and do it, but you, are, you can already go to level 4 and it's just repeating that particular project only. It's similar to how some people, they actually repeat the CC manual although they are done with it. Yeah, so it's, it's the same uh, reasoning as that. Alright, any other questions as to this? Yes. Yeah. They both have done CC's, oh, sorry, Icebreaker today, right? Mm -hmm and every day two weeks ago, mm. what is really the next step? What should they do? go back and do now? Okay, what, what you should go back to do now is that you realize when you click the start, the, 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 the icebreaker thing, there's a pop-up window, right? So in the middle of that, you got something called evaluate yourself before. You remember that? Yes. Have you clicked on that? Yes. Have you filled in the numbers there? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Cool. So that is half of the work that you have to do. You go and deliver the speech, and now to complete the project, at the end of that pop-up, there is something called evaluate yourself after. Again, there will be the same ratings, you rate yourself again. After you rate yourself, then they will come up with a table that shows you before, this is how you rate yourself. After, this is how you rate yourself. And upon doing that, the system will recognize that you have completed the project and they will send a completion email to you, signifying that, oh, you have completed the project. Then, when you go back to your education transcript, you will be able to see, first you've got the project one right, then there's the launch button here, correct? But then this two is empty. After you click uh, finish and then you get the email, there's two launch buttons available for the other two projects now. And that's how you can start your second and third project. Okay? Oh, yes. Okay, for my one, uh, it has a congratulations, you have completed your first project, but I do not receive the email. Yes, that's, and, that's and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's right. no, um, there's the still only one launch button on okay. that screen. Reason being is because you haven't filled in the evaluate yourself after. Okay, then how do I go for that? What you open a pop-up window, you know that, that on the bottom of the pop-up window, there's a, there's a quick navigation bar, right? Mm -hmm. You click that one. And then you see, uh, evaluate yourself after. Uh, and then you will be able to go there and fill in that. Oh, for your information, in Pathways, one project does not, it's not equivalent to one speech. Some projects have multiple parts. Some projects require you to do multiple speeches. For example, once those of you who have done Icebreaker, your next project, evaluation and feedback. You have to perform two speeches, separate speeches up, new speeches, and one evaluation. You have to evaluate somebody else. You have to evaluate somebody else. Reason being, okay, the, the story goes like this. 
in the second project, the first speech, okay, wait, this is the icebreaker. Second project, the first speech, you deliver a speech. Evaluator evaluates you. This second speech, you've got two choices. Either you improve the first speech based on the evaluator's evaluation, or you create a new speech based on the evaluator's evaluation, the evaluator's feedback. If the evaluator say you can walk around more, you try walking around. <laughs> Essentially, that's about it. After you are done with the icebreaker, first speech, second speech, now use your turn to contribute back to the club, you evaluate somebody else. Don't worry, in there they will actually teach you how to evaluate and how to get feedback from there. So you will actually learn to become an evaluator as well. Contribute back to the club. And that's how pathways work. Okay? See that my time is running out, so I'll let you pass this session back to your president and thank you very much for coming. Today Ken is a photographer, videographer, everybody.